Hello chess friends and welcome to Azard of Chess channel and welcome to a spectacular game played by the latest version of Stockfish, the powerful Stockfish 16. Today we see the fish battling it out against its arch enemy Lila C0 in a brutal spectacular tactical game in the French defense and this game I think could be very very instructive for you because I think you can use this game as your cornerstone in your preparation against the French defense and I guarantee you the French defense is now a very very popular opening now these days many top GMs are playing the French with the black pieces against e4 even magnus carlson sometimes plays it uh, with good success i think so that's why i think in your preparation when you're maybe an e4 player you want to know what kind of a uh, line are you going to play what kind of a setup you're trying against the french events and this approach that you see now by, by stoffer 16 in my opinion is really beautiful beautiful uh setup with good um opening th uh, th theories with great i think attacking chances with also of course cool tactical possibilities in my opinion beautiful instructive but you know the fish then later it becomes simply then a spectacular and bombastic chess game here by stoffish 16 so let's see now what happened with the white pieces uh, stoffish opened with the move e4 lila's response was e6 the french d4 we have d5 and now we have the so-called tarash variation with the move knight to d2 this move knight to d2 leaves you a certain flexibility to play the move c3 later to, to connect your pawns here on the queen side in the game knight to f6 was played by lila and now e5 which is now the closed tarash setup here with the move e5 now the pawn structure is closed the pawn structure is blocked now after move knight to d7 we have now this i i like to call it really this directed attack uh, for both sides maybe you're uh, seeing now for the first time one of my videos here on my youtube chess channel i will wanted to explain you again what's going on now on the board when we have now this blocked pawn structure on the board then it's obvious where are we going to attack of course with the small pawn chain d4 e5 black uh, get challenged in this way white is going to attack on the king side black is of course continuing the pressure here on the queen side because the pawn chain is of course also showing black's direction of the attack so it becomes now really a sort of an opposite side attack game and who is faster on the attack will probably have great great winning chances so after move knight to d7 stockfish connects the pawn chain with the move c3 that's the beauty about the tarash variation with the move knight to d2 we have c5 immediately we have bishop to d3 knight to c6 hitting the pawn on d4 and stockfish protects now the pawn with knight to f3 c takes d c takes d and now queen to b6 <clears throat> putting more pressure against this weak pawn on d4 my recommendation is here for you and it's not it seems maybe a little bit strange is simply to leave this pawn unprotected don't worry about this pawn because the activity that, that you get now is i think a beautiful and decent compensation for the lost pawn look at this we simply play kingside casting here and if you play maybe knight to d4 we hit the knight you play queen to d4 knight to f3 extra tempo against the queen maybe the queen can get here to uh, g4 but you can still kick away the queen the queen is really misplaced i think a little bit maybe the queen get uh, can get on h5 because it's very important to have some pieces here in front of black's king because black is really lacking in defenders when we play the move e5 here black doesn't have any more this powerful knight the knight on f6 is of course the most important defender in front of black's king but now it's not possible so that maybe you see many times this line where white is um get challenged in this way where black is trying to keep somehow the queen in the, in the game here on the king side but this is also not good because we play bishop to g5 very important move and i'm not sure if black is going to play here the move bishop to e7 because if you look at this bishop to e7 king to e7 black is continuing now the game uh, with the bad piece here and now he gets simply destroyed on dark squares here we can support of course our pawn here and in my opinion it would be an unpleasant game rook to c1 rook to c7 is for instance also a beautiful maneuver i guarantee you black will not have fun in this game for sure so really really wild stuff for instance after bishop to c5 that that black can play instead of bishop to e7 then we simply continue with ro rook to e1 supporting our pawn on e5 after kingside calcing maybe we hit the bishop here uh on c5 with rook to c1 he can maybe protect it and of course try maybe somehow to get the bishop into the game but now look at this with queen to a4 many many tactical opportunities for for white bishop to b5 a3 b4 bishop to b7 for instance is of course not possible for black the knight is hanging so in my opinion again a messed up game here for for black bishop to b5 i think is now the main threat here uh against black so this is not working after move uh here uh, kingside casting here lila c0 didn't take out uh, the pawn on d4 immediately because it would mean that it runs simply into unpleasant play for sure so that's why lila played a5 expanding on the queen 
queen side is trying a4 a3 creating here some weaknesses on this side of the board stockfish continues with rook to e1 now again if black wants to take the pawn on d4 you have seen you get really really maybe not the same position but a similar position in which black get challenged again with the move knight to f3 then again maybe with the move h3 bishop to g5 we have seen this method so as i said not the best continuation then for black here we have bishop to e7 first lila c0 wants to castle and then maybe later uh, take out now the pawn on d4 stockfish continues with the move h3 now stockfish is not allowing knight to d4 knight takes d4 queen to d4 because then after knight to f3 the queen doesn't have this access to the g4 square that we have seen previously when uh black could have of course run here to to the square h5 after move h3 lila continues with a4 stockfish uh, blocks out now uh here the further progress with the move a3 and now finally lila c0 took out took out now the pawn on d4 we have knight takes d4 queen to d4 knight to f3 no this now the queen as i said doesn't have access to this important score g4 we have queen to b6 by lila c0 and now comes the tricky part of the game here stockfish played an interesting choice knight to g5 what should you do Kingside casting is of course not possible because look at this first of all h7 this week the queen is coming in on uh h5 so in my opinion game over already if you play here something like bishop to g5, it seems tempting to get rid of this really, really unpleasant knight, but then it gets even more messed up here for black because after bishop to g5, we are trying to get our queen on uh, g4 here. Maybe even some lines play the move bishop to f6, sacrificing something if, for instance, black castles too early. It's one of the good methods that you can play here. But let's see. Obviously, we are asking ourselves the question, what happens if black, for instance, takes out now the pawn on b2, if black is really, really greedy? It's not so good because then we played this one, bishop to f1, keeping our options with the bishop, maybe also this pawn can be taken, but now look at this, you run into a spectacular tactical sequence after queen to c3, uh, rook to c1, you're trying maybe to protect the knight, but now look at this, rook to e5 is winning the game immediately because it didn't castle, now look at this, queen to a4, really, really stunning tactic, what should you do if you take out now the queen, then this one is winning, bishop to uh, bishop to b5 you can cover but now rook to c8 a beautiful and spectacular checkmate it's almost like in this uh, famous paul murphy game where the rook is coming in a spectacular game in a spectacular way into the game so really really a stunning checkmate it would be for sure so this is not working so see what to do here you cannot take out the knight you of course want to take it out because it's really an unpleasant piece to handle but lila c0 co continue i think in the most progressive way play now knight to c5 hits now the bishop on d3 stockfish retreats and again what should you do probably you are tempted to play the move h6 as i said kicking away this knight from from the score g5 but even if you play something like i don't know knight to b3 then you run into this one Qu uh, bishop to b3 queen to b3 and then queen to h5 very very dangerous move what should you do for instance if you play here g6 then we can play this one queen to h6 you can maybe kick away the queen now but with queen to h4 you have lost i think a little bit here the privilege of castling bishop to e3 bishop to f4 is coming into the game queen side casting in this position is a suicide uh, it's also not working so basically what we're trying now to do with the white pieces is maybe to play knight to f3 then bishop to g5 and then bishop to f6 because uh, we have provoked many dark or weaknesses maybe even trade off the bishops here and then continue in a beautiful knight versus bishops and game so even this method is not working even if you for instance in this position take out now the um, uh, the knight on g5 then again it's really really unpleasant bishop to g5 what should you do for instance if you castle here kingside then you run into this tactic bishop to f6 is winning the game on spot if you play something i don't know queen to b2 then look at this with queen to h4 uh, and then followed with bishop to e7 bishop to d6 this dark square bishop of white would be much 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 better than this bishop on c8 that's simply paralyzed and blocked out by its own pawn structure so you cannot castle as i said bishop to f6 is a huge threat again a messed up game uh, here for black so that's why after bishop to c2 here that stockfish played knight to b3 was not lila c0's continuation lila played now the move h6 and you can guess what the fish is doing here it's almost like the whole french defense is but the stockfish played of course the move knight takes f7 really really wild stuff and from this point on the game is simply a one-way ticket after king to f7 we have queen to h5 we have king to g8 bishop to g6 controlling of course the escape route for the king this rook is paralyzed this bishop is paralyzed 
when this bishop is paralyzed then of course also this rook is paralyzed the only active pieces that are playing now in black's position maybe are this bishop on e7 and this uh, knight on c5 here we have queen to c7 <coughs> by lila c0 putting more pressure against the pawn on e5 but of course also controlling here the weak score on f7 stockfish continues with rook to e3 you know when stockfish plays a rook lift probably the game is over because now rook to f3 and rook to g3 are huge huge threats we have bishop to g5 rook to f3 what should you play again if you play bishop to c1 we have uh, then this one bishop to f7 that's now a huge huge tactical threat if you play of course here with your king to g7 then you get checkmate in one if you play king to f8 then you run into these tactics where always there is the possibility of the discovered check with bishop to e6 then maybe to get the rook on f7 again a devastating devastating messed up game here for for black so this is not working so after move rook to f3 we have queen to e5 by lila c0 getting of course the queen somehow into the game trying of course somehow to force a trade of pieces but now again a beautiful move bishop to e3 hits now also the knight on c5 controls of course also both of these diagonals still keeps the pressure here around the square f7 not a good game anymore for black what should you do if you play bishop to e3 then we have seen bishop to f7 very very messed up position for black to handle if you run to f8 then the bishop to e6 and then uh, queen to f7 is simply winning the game so that's why lila tried this move knight to d7 stockfish continues with bishop to e8 we we have rook to a6 trying desperately somehow to bring more pieces into the defense but look at this both of these rooks were really bad for the whole game stockfish continues now with queen to f7 delivers a check king to h7 queen to g6 and now after king to g8 here there is a beautiful beautiful checkmate sequence pause the video and try to see now the winning idea here for white white moves and wins the game it's a beautiful checkmate in two what should we play here as I said, tr just for fun, try to solve now this beautiful, beautiful chess puzzle. Okay, here we have a beautiful, beautiful, stunning tack with with rook to f8. What should you do? If you get a uh, king to f8, uh, king to f8, then you get decoy, of course, to the square, and then uh, you get this one, uh, queen to f7. If you play here knight to f8, then the problem is this one. Uh, you have taken the natural square for the king to escape now with your knight and then after bishop to f7 it's a beautiful beautiful and epic checkmate here so pool we're now in move 27 and lila c0 the second best engine in the world got checkmated by stoffish 16 in the french defense i'm not sure maybe of course there are other other options how to play the french with the black pieces but this is really interesting this is i think a beautiful approach uh here by stoffer 16 with his progressive knight to g5 provocative move really one of the one of the methods that i think you should know you should apply in your own games because it's so so unpleasant to castle here to even stay with the king in the center even to give up the bishop for the knight here on g5 in my opinion really beautiful instructive but of course as we saw a spectacular tactical gameplay by the fish so okay i hope that you enjoyed this game i really enjoyed a lot interesting ideas of the Tadas defense of uh, of the Tadas variation of the french defense if you want to see more attacking games like this check out our comments and chess games played by computer series with some more games played by stockfish alpha zero lila zero and many many more and if you like this content don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you soon with some more videos and what do we say chess is the best of course